what is up y'all uh it is kenyo here and i'm back i'm back i'm back um with um some 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 lexi hull news so lexi hull she's on the uh okay i don't even want to make this sound anything like news because it's not especially if it's coming from me she's on the indiana fever and um i just watched the fever seattle storm game and she scored 16 points um if i had to guess because i haven't actually checked i think she's probably a shooting guard you know oh well maybe i mean that would have to be or a shooting forward i guess maybe but um um 16 points three three pointers from when i started watching which was in the third quarter I don't know what the other points were. Twos, threes. Um, but I guess she was drafted in, in 2022. So would that make that last year? Or the year before? I think that would make that the year before last year. Um, but yeah. See, this is why it's fun for me to watch Caitlin Clark. It's not just about... Well, the fact is, she's just super famous, right? So she's coming into this stuff bringing these other people, putting spotlights on people, bringing levels of focus to people's games that they probably didn't even think was going to happen. And that's cool, because that can change stuff in really interesting ways. So, I'm excited. I'm excited to see more from Lexi Hall. I'll be following uh, what, what she gets up to. Um, Caitlin Clark has been that was a pass from Caitlin Clark to Hull. I guess a highlight. Um but anyway, um Caitlin Clark's been playing them she played really well as per usual. You know what I'm saying? Getting points, but she's really shining, you know, with these assists. I think she's if I'm not mistaken, the assist leader um right now in the league as a rookie. And I think she's number four in three pointers still without even really making that many threes in a game I again I started watching this last game in the third quarter um but but um yeah I'm glad that uh the fever are back and um that we got the rest of the season to go because right now I think the fever fever are in seventh but they just beat the number five or something like that number four storm or something like that um, and they beat him by like 30 points. You know, I think Caitlin Clark's on another level after All-Star game. I don't remember if someone else went to the All-Star game from the Fever. I think one person did. But, um, yeah. So, the, the rest of this season, if they're beating the Storm the way that they beat them tonight, it's just going to be, it's going to be good basketball. Good basketball. I'm talking throwbacks to when I was in fifth grade, slam dunking, metaphorically, emotionally, on the court, really playing. You know what I mean? And so I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm excited to see a lot more Lexi Hull, a lot more Caitlin Clark, um, and, you know, Aaliyah Boston, Kamai, too. This is what's fun for me, because I'm not going to pretend like I'm into the WNBA, and I'm definitely not going to pretend like I'm into the Indiana Fever even if I was going to be into the WNBA. thing is, the team I would probably pick right now to be into would be the Atlanta Dream, if I was going to pick a team. Um, but I'm not going to do that, because I'm really just watching right now for Kaylin Clark. Um, but it's fun for me to see who else catches my eye. I never would have known Aaliyah Boston's name. Definitely never would have known Lexi Hall's name. Um... And even some of the other stars. I don't watch WNBA. So, Brittany Griner, yeah, I knew who she was in passing. Um, those other girls? I don't know who any of them are. Brianna Stewart, maybe. Might have seen once somewhere before this me diving in because of Caitlin Clark. And I was talking a little bit of mess about Caitlin Clark in the beginning. Because I was like, I haven't seen any clips. I haven't seen any clips. But then I saw some clips. Then I saw some clips. I started getting into it. I started to see how fun it was, especially from a media standpoint, um, to see how the media reacts, how people react to 
to getting a lot of attention on them when they there's no way Lexi Hall thought oh this other girl's gonna come in and blow up the WNBA and it's gonna be huge I mean maybe maybe she thought like well, I'm gonna be one of the people to put the WNBA you know my back and take it to that level but either way um it's gonna be cool to see how um different 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 people we weren't expecting to become players in this epic run because Caitlin Clark is gapping people when it comes to skill there's a gap there and it's a and especially because of the way girls play it's making her whole team better it's interesting you know it's not like it's it's very interesting so I'm excited to watch but thank you for watching make sure you subscribe I need to say that at the beginning of the videos make sure you subscribe thanks for thanks for watching peace